and welcome to Makeup by Mon. I'm gonna be talking about my April favorites, so let's get started. I have, it's mainly actually makeup favorites this month. I've been trying out a lot of new things and rediscovering old things that I've had that I'm falling back in love with. So uh, one of the first things I wanna talk about is the Park Avenue Princess palette by Tarte. Um, it is a contour palette, so basically, it's really beautiful gold packaging with purple letters. Um, it's They knocked it out of the park with the packaging. But um, I just don't want to show the mirror. But it's beautiful. So it's got this really nice bronzer on this side. And then a beautiful um, one of their Amazonian um, clay blushes. And then there's a really nice highlight. Um, I just, I think it's really great if you're in the market for something that um, does two things. I mean, the bronzer, I'm wearing it today. It's nothing heavy. The blush is really soft. The highlighter is not super noticeable. It's very subtle. So if you want something that's subtle, this is definitely for you. But if you want a highlighter that like you can see from the gods, definitely not for you. But if it's something more for everyday use and you're trying to look for something that has a bronzer, a powder, and a nice highlight, this is definitely for you. I can link it down below. Um, but I got it on Macy's.com around Christmas time with a gift card that I had gotten. So another favorite is uh, A Great Kisser by Soap and & Glory and the flavor Juicy Peach. So I did a Soap & Glory haul, um, it's a few videos back. I stocked up because as you know, Soap & Glory is no longer gonna be sold at Sephora, but I've heard many rumblings from a few blogs that it's actually gonna be start being sold at Target for a cheaper, more affordable price. So I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned. If I see any more info about it, I will let you know. But it's just, it's amazing. It smells like heaven. I mean, it's basically heaven in a, in a little tin can. And um, I mean, you can see that I've already done quite a sizable dent and I've only had it maybe two or three weeks. Um, the smell is just sensational. It's really nice on the lips very moisturizing, not sticky. Um, it's just a great lip balm. I, I try to put it on at nighttime whenever I, before I get into bed and I'm trying to make it part of my ritual. I'm also trying to put on lotion on my hands and my arms um, just to, to make sure that my skin is, you know, feeling really refreshed and moisturized as we're getting into the hotter months because Texas is terribly hot. Uh, another favorite for the month is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. So, I also got this in um, my recent Sephora haul, and I have been pining over it for months and really wanted to try it, and I'm so glad that I did. So, one of the things I love about it is that there is a pump top. I also like that you get a, a pretty, I mean, you get a pretty decent amount of product for, it's 1.35 fluid ounces. I feel like you get... A lot for what you're paying I mean granted you are paying a little over $30 for this but it I mean it's great as coconut water electrolytes and probiotic it smells fantastic some people may not like the smell but I, I like the light smell of coconut so I really don't mind it I am NOT wearing it today actually but I have been wearing it I feel like it does give my makeup a little more lasting power what I really like about it is just the fact that it's really moisturizing and it's really nice on the skin. It's definitely not a pore filler by any means like the Professional or a few of the other primers out there like the Smashbox one. But it really is replenishing. It's fantastic for your face. It just glides on. Your makeup just glides on after you put it on. So if you're on the fence about trying this, definitely go for it. Um, because I really don't think you would regret it. I, I love it. And especially if you are in the market for a moisturizer more like primer where you want your skin, if you have very dry skin and you want something that's gonna give it just a little more oomph, this is definitely for you. Another favorite is the Beauty Blender. So I actually got this uh, as a Christmas present from my husband and I've been trying out for quite a few months now. And this month I just, I fell in love with it all over again. And one of the reasons I fell in love with it is because I've actually started to use it um, with my powders. So I use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil underneath my eyes and then I'll use it just along the edges of my nose and then put it over any blemishes that I have before I do my L'Oreal Infallible Powder. And it makes the powder go on so nicely. It has such a fantastic finish. Um, I just, actually I cleaned it on Monday, but I've been using it the past two days. So 
You can see it has a little bit of makeup on it. This is about four months old. So I've already ordered, I already have a new one. Um, I'm probably gonna retire him pretty soon. I'll probably give him another month or two. Uh, when I was reading online, it says you should replenish them every like two to three months. But I've been taking really good care of it and I use the solid Beauty Blender Cleaner and it looks like a small little tin plastic tub. Um, it's really easy to use and I also use it for my brushes. And so um, I suggest if you're wanting to try a Beauty Blender, try out the Beauty Blender Solid because it, it just works really well with this and it's definitely worth the you know 14 or 15 bucks. And you can use it also on your brushes. So I just have a new love for this because not only can you do foundation and concealers and cream products, but you can also apply it your powder. And I, and I just stamp it a little bit, put it in the mineral oil, and then just put it right on. And it's it's just amazing. I love it. Newfound love for it. Another favorite is the Maybelline Brow Drama in the color Deep Brown. So I have this on my brows right now, and I can actually show a little bit better how to use it. Let's see if I stay in the frame. So it's it just fills in. You definitely still need an eyebrow brush, like I still use my Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I use this over and I feel like it just gives really nice definition. Um, it's not sticky, it stays all day, it does not move. Um, if you are more of like a natural brow kind of person, like I like, I'm growing mine out right now and I like to keep them kind of full and thick but I still want to have definition. So I use my Anastasia Brow Wiz and then um, just to like, you know, go along the edges, go along the top, and then I fill in with this and my eyebrows do not move. So if you're more natural and you, you like the eyebrow, you know, structure that you currently have, but you want to give it just a little more oomph, I suggest you try this. It's, I think it ranges between six and eight dollars. Um, you can find it at any drugstore, Target, Walmart, Ulta. Definitely give it a shot. I really like it. Um, and it's the first kind of brow mascara per se that I've tried. Um, so I like that it's it's held up pretty well. Another product that I've rediscovered and fallen in love with all over again is the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu. So it's a very beautiful nude. It's a nudie nude with a little hint of pink. Um, it has a really nice applicator that I like. Um, Oh, it's just a pretty color. I mean, geez louise. It's fantastic. It's, I'm not wearing it on my lips, but I'm actually wearing Nudist by Soap and Glory. I finally found a sexy mother pucker at one of the Sephora's I went to and am so glad that I found it. Um, it's the color Nudist and it's over Jordana Tawny lip liner, but it's like a nice of the tail. So I'll hit this on. Uh, it just glides on. It's just the perfect consistency, the perfect finish. I mean, it it's not sticky. It, it's moisturizing. It goes well over most colors. Uh, you can wear it on its own. You can wear it over a lip liner. You can wear it over a lip stick. I, I love it. It's fantastic. These run for less than $4. Uh, you can find them at Ulta. You can find them at Walgreens. I've seen them at CVS. Um, definitely, definitely tiramisu. It's a wonderful butter gloss. Um, one of my last few products is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I got this in a haul a few months back. I, this is actually my second tube because I love it so much. Um, I'm obsessed with this mascara. I mean, I can't even, like, I can't even tell you how obsessed I am. It's amazing. The wand is like, like, looks like a banana. Like, that's all I can describe it as, as a banana. The bristles are so nice. They fan out your lashes. I would say it gives you volume, not a ton, but it lengthens. Um, I can't remember which one. I think I got very black this time, but uh, before I got blackest black. Um, but it comes in, you know, deep brown, dark brown, black brown, all those colors. It's amazing. I love it. I'm, an, I'm a huge fan. It's great for bottom lashes and for top lashes. Again, it gives you some volume, but I really like it for the lengthening effect. And I've been using it with an eyelash curler and it just, whoosh, like I look like I have eyelashes and I, I don't really have very many eyelashes. I'm not an eyelash kind of person. Um, the last item in my April favorites are the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. So these um, I've heard so much about and I'm so glad that I tried them. And one of my subscribers 
actually recommended these to me and I'm so happy that I, I bought them. I actually have two colors. I have the color, the shade 25 medium and I have the shade 20 sand. Um, so I like to use sand as a, a nice highlight. I usually take it down the bridge of the nose. Um, sometimes I'll take it right under the chin, right above my cupid's bow. Um, sometimes I'll take it just right between my eyebrows. It's a beautiful color. The consistency is so smooth and I hear it's a dupe for NARS Creamy Concealer, which will be my next thing that I try out. Um, and then medium I use on blemishes. I use around the edges of my nose. Sometimes I'll use it under the eye. You know, I've had a few breakouts this, this past month um, and it's definitely helped. And I mean, it's amazing. The consistency is fantastic. You definitely need to set it. It's definitely need to set it with a powder, but gosh, it's amazing. It's probably the best concealer I've tried in a really, really, really long time. So one of my favorites for April is actually not a makeup product or a beauty product. It's actually a YouTuber. I've been obsessed this month with a YouTuber um, by the name of Young, Wild, and Polished. I think her name is Nicole. She has such funny videos. Like, I feel like we would be friends in real life just because she's very spunky. Like, she says it like it is. She loves makeup. She does beautiful tutorials, fantastic reviews. A lot of the things that I've gotten um have been because of her so i will link her down below um i'm just a huge fan of her so if you're in the market for i always love searching for new youtubers just because it inspires me and it makes me want to try new things and do new things and she is amazing check her out it's youtube young wild and polish and i will link it down below um but thank you so much for watching if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time thanks bye